Okay, and now we're gonna do workshop five where we build the hammer mill. And you might wanna get everything you need all together beforehand. So first we're going to take the water wheel that we built in workshop one and we're gonna take it off the long frame that it's on. Then looking at image number two, we're going to put the axle through this top left hole with these pieces being up here. Then we're going to add a washer and an axle lock. Then once again, we're gonna add a large gear and the wheel, making sure that the orientation of the paddles matches image number three. Then we're gonna add the other large gear. So now this should look like image number four. So moving on to image number five, we're gonna take one of these small frames. We're gonna add two anchor pins to these holes right here on the end. And we're gonna put this right into here into the short frame and then these are going to fit into another short frame. The axle goes through this corner hole and then this fits together like this. There should also be a shaft plug on the same side as this axle where there's no axle stop leaving three holes empty so it's in the fifth hole down as it shows in image number six. Okay, so moving on to image number seven, you're going to want to add a washer right here, and then a small yellow gear. Like that. Okay, now moving on to image number eight, we're going to take two long rods, and we're gonna stick two anchor pins in them. So we're gonna wanna stick them on the ends without this piece, on this end, in the hole that's closer to the end, so not this hole. So stick one in here, and another one, once again, in the hole that's closer to the end. And then these two anchor pins are gonna face each other, and we're gonna stick these long rods right onto the short frames. So one right here and another one right here. Okay, so now moving on to image number nine, we're gonna take a large gear and we're gonna stick it onto the shaft plug that's on this side so that these two gears, the small gear and this large gear, should be meshing. Then we're gonna add the shaft pin into the hole on the large gear. So now this should look like image number 10. So now moving on to image 11, we're gonna take two large frames and we're gonna take a three hole rod and we're gonna stick two anchor pins on the ends of it. Then we're gonna stick these into the bottom corner holes, making sure that the holes in this rod are facing up, up and down. Then in image 12 and 12B, you're gonna need a long axle and you're gonna stick it in the seven hole from the bottom, so leave six holes empty, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then stick it in here, and stick it all the way through the other side. Then you're gonna add a washer onto this side, and you're gonna add two axle blocks, one right here, and another one right in here. So there's a lock in here and there's a lock out here. 
Then we're going to take one of these square frames and these two pieces should be right above this piece down here. So you're going to stick it right on to the top of the large frames and then you're going to stick an anchor pin into this middle hole right here. So that's image number 14. In image 15, you're going to fit these two things together. So with the side with the axle on it, you're going to fit these two anchor pins into these two sides of the two large frames. There should be three holes empty and these anchor pins should go into the fourth hole. So it should look like this, like this. Alright, so now moving on to image 16, we're going to take a short rod, two five hole rods, a long rod, and a three hole rod. So first we're going to take the short rod, we're going to use two anchor pins, stick them in the second hole, second holes of the short rods and the anchor pins are going to go in the second holes of this short rod. So you have one extra hole on the ends here. Then you're going to stick another anchor pin in the middle hole down here and that is going to go into the hole that's the closest to the end on the long rod. And then this piece is going to go into the middle hole on a three hole rod. So it looks like this. Then this setup in image 17, in the third hole from the end, that's going to go onto this anchor pin up here. So it looks like this. Then in image 18, we're going to need a long rod another five hole rod, a shaft plug, a small gear, two large gears, a short axle. So first we're going to take a large gear, we're going to stick one side of the short axle into one large gear and the other side of the short axle onto the other side. Then we're going to stick this end of the long rod into the second hole of the short rod. Then on, on this end, we're going to stick a shaft plug, which is going to go into a small gear. Alright, so now we have these two pieces. Then we're going to attach them to this whole setup. So let's bring this back, making sure that this shaft pin is right here. We're going to stick this axle into the fourth hole, so leaving three holes empty, one, two, three, the fourth hole right here. But first, we made a slight mistake, we're going to have to switch the orientation of these two guys. So first goes the axle lock, and next goes the washer. So now we're going to stick this piece in the fourth hole, so leaving three holes empty, one, two, three, so the fourth hole. And then we're going to stick a washer onto this axle and then an axle lock. So this right here should look like image 20B.